Hi everybody, we are back at the a -plus store in near Ashburn, Virginia, which features the Mark 7 Aquajet XT. I know, I know these systems now, guys. I'm pretty smart about it. With um, the onboard Mark 7 dryers, with just two, and they don't have the, uh, the part where they swivel to help with the airflow. I'm guessing it's some type of model that is kind of popular in my area, or not really in the full area, but like a little popular in the East Coast uh, for energy saving, I'm guessing. Let me know if that's the case. Um, looks like someone's in the bay, which is pretty good. Oh, guys. Um, I think I saw the wheel scrubbers do its thing. Let's see if it does it again. Yeah, check this out, guys. The wheel scrubbers doing their job. That's really cool. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna punch in my code once the wash is done for this person. In which this case here, it's gonna take a little bit, especially the onboard drying takes a little bit of time too um i'm in the i am actually once again in the car which features the panoramic sunroof so we'll have enough to show with an, the uh, mark 7 aquajet xt with the two onboard dryers so skipping ahead towards the action all right guys so the guy is gone we're gonna punch in our code our code is 17580 Give me one second here, guys. Hello, welcome to our car wash. Oh, wow. Please select your Hello. wash or enter your code now. Oh, it's you again. You have chosen the car wash. You may enter the car wash if it is ready. Wash is now ready. Please drive in slowly following the entrance sign on the car wash. All right, thank you, my dear friend. My dear Pay, Miss Pay, Miss Payday. I don't know how to, what to call her. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it, but <laughs> you gotta give me some time, my dear. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, undercarriage. You know what, I'm just gonna keep looking forward because we can't see anything. I do a little mini buzzer. This is my first one hearing the little Mark 7 buzzer. And there's a treadle here. So, here we go. Here we see one. All right, hit the spot. Hit the sweet spot, that is. All right, so now for the long journey of the Mark 7 Aquajet XT. Okay, so I know I reacted when I got my first Softwash XT, but it had these onboard dryers. So there's only two. You can see this nozzle here has pivoted for some reason, and this one is staying as it is. Oh well, but what I learned is that these things don't move, but they pivot in each direction, in each pass of the onboard dryer. If you guys understand what I'm saying. So even though the dryer, when looking at the windshield on my left, is actually not going to move, the dryer that's on my right is going to move How because of uh, what I saw from the last customer uh, for this wash. Let's 
Let's see what's happening here. Empty pass or something. Oh, here we go. This thing. I couldn't show you, I can't show you from the inside, but from the last customer I show, uh, showed all of you from the outside. Like the outside view. So now it's moving to the back. Wish it would apply something else, like maybe more pre-soak, especially on these side blasters, but that's perfectly fine. I mean, at least these systems seem much cooler than like the laser wash systems and the um, Bellinger Vector Rapid systems. All right, there we go with our rinsing. And the water is going all over the place. Now we're getting the side blasters. This machine looks to be maintained well. So, a little more information about this place in general. This place looks like back when I was like a smaller kid, like I'm 18 now. When I was little, this place I think used to have a the old original Mark 7s. Here's the tr uh, triple foam, by the way. Ooh, nice on the top as well, as shown in the panoramic sunroof. This place used to have a Mark 7 um, Aquajet, either GTO, or no, GT300 or 500 or 700. And one thing I forget is that I think it also had onboard dryers. just like this one. There's no other information I can give, but there were the old arrow signs on the sides. And for uh, one more piece of information, um, I used to be scared of the water, so maybe that gives you a clue of like the loud Mark 7s back then, like what you show, what uh, some of you show in your channels that you have found. I think I'll stay quiet for, you know, the remainder, because obviously you know this. All you all know the soft, uh, soft wash XTs.
dryer there just pivoted to allow um, motion to go towards the left. As you can see, more water droplets are being dried, like dried off the vehicle at least a little bit. this one would have moved but this one doesn't seem to be working for that little component and this one um, went back to its normal form of going down obviously this part Well, that's it. No dryers to drive through or anything. We are good to go just right out of the bay. Boom. All right. Who cares about gas prices? All right, so that's it. I'm going to stop it right here at showing you the actual Exxon station itself to the night. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.